Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the numerical analysis. Today I will explain you how you can calculate the order of convergence of modified Newton's method. Myself Dr. Harishkar. You can subscribe my YouTube channel and follow it where you can find the playlist of numerical analysis. In this playlist you can see I have already uploaded the multiple routes, modified Newton's method, system of the nonlinear equations and the various lectures related to the rules finding in my this playlist. You can subscribe my YouTube channel so that when I uploaded my next video, you will get the notification. Now, in order to understand the order of the convergence of the multiple routes, you must watch about my these two lectures so that you can understand it. What is the definition of the multiple routes and what is the modified Newton's Raphson method? If I quickly recall that, what is the multiple routes? If you have the function f of x is my zero, x is equal to x i which is called as the root of this equation is multiplicity m when if the mth derivative of the function at the point x i is my non-zero while all those previous values are my zero. Once you have find the multiplicity then you can find the iterative scheme by using the modified Newton's Raphson method. Now the target of this lecture is if the function f of x has a multiple roots, then how you can find the order of convergence. So since we have the two different methods, one is for the Newton Raphson method, second is for the modified Newton's method. Make sure student that's one of the most important point here. You can note it down. If my function is say x square minus 4x plus 3, can you find the root of these equations? So clearly say the roots are my 1 and 3 and it has no multiplicity. There is no multiplicity. If you have the equations x minus 1 square, then clearly say what are my roots? Roots are my 1 and 1. So that means it has the multiplicity. Fine. But in the first case, it has no multiplicity. And if you apply this formula fx in this case, then your order of the convergence is my quadratic. However, if you apply all those functions with which has some multiplicity and if you apply this function fx in here, then the order of the convergence is my linear. Fine. On the other hand, if you apply the multiplicity function in this modified Newton's formula, then your order of convergence is my quality. So that's why I'm asking the most important concept is if f of x is 0 has no multiplicity that means roots are all simple roots then the order of convergence of this method is my quadratic and the same lecture I have already explained you this lecture you can find my this lecture of modif Newton's Raphson method with the order of convergence. If you have the function which has some multiplicity and if you apply this formula, then the order of convergence is linear, while for the Newton's modified Newton's method is a quadratic. In this lecture, we will see the proof of these two results in a very simple manner. I request you, you don't forget to like and comment on this video to support my efforts. Now, first of all, this is a modified Newton's method. That means our target is to apply the function fx, which is zero, having some multiplicity. So I can assume that alpha is a multiple root with the multiplicity m. What does it mean? That means the mth derivative at the point alpha is my non-zero while for all those previous values are my zeros. f of f alpha zero, f dash alpha zero, f of m minus one alpha zero. Now let alpha n be the error in the nth equation. Fine. What does it mean? That means if you obtain the nth equation at this, original value is my alpha and epsilon n is my n. Fine. So I can substitute this value in this expression. It is alpha plus epsilon n plus 1, which is equal to alpha plus epsilon n minus f of alpha plus epsilon n divided by f dash alpha plus epsilon n. Now clearly say alpha will be cancelled out 
and then your expression will be epsilon n plus 1 epsilon n plus 1 which is minus f of alpha plus epsilon n divided by f dash of this number fine then what is your target your target is to find the value of f of alpha plus epsilon n and f dash of alpha plus epsilon how you can find this number because the function is continuously differentiable so i can apply the taylor series so i can apply the taylor series how you can open that it is f of alpha plus epsilon n f dash of alpha plus epsilon n square over 2 factorial or i can written as a 1 factorial f double dash of alpha plus so fine so i can open this way. and this is the higher order terms by using the value of f of alpha is my 0 f dash of alpha is my 0 up to the n minus 1 are my 0 so the only terms which is left behind is these two expressions fine i can neglect the higher terms if you neglect the higher terms then your f of x n is my epsilon n raised to power m mth derivative divided by m factorial now since m is my known to you function is given to you so this part is my constant so i call this number is my say this number is my c so therefore your f of x n is approximately be the c into epsilon n raised to power n fine now i can substitute because we need f dash also so what is the value of the f dash of the x n it will be c is approximately m epsilon n raised to power m minus 1 fine now you can substitute both values here again i can see this number is my alpha epsilon n plus 1 alpha plus epsilon n minus f of xn f of fine or you can write is xn to be my alpha plus epsilon n alpha plus epsilon fine now you can substitute the value it will be epsilon it is minus c will be cancel out 1 epsilon n will be cancel out it is my this number so i can take 1 epsilon n is a common it is my expression fine now clearly say this power is my 1 because i can return this number is epsilon n plus 1 over epsilon n which is my 1 over 1 minus m is a finite number fine so the power is my 1 therefore this equation is my linear convergence and this coefficient is called as the rate of therefore we can see whenever you have a function with some multiplicity if you apply the newton's method the rate of convergence is always lean on the other hand whenever you have a multiplicity that is a m which is greater than of the one and if you apply the modified newton's method then the order of convergence is quadratic how you can prove that it's a very very simple i can start with say for example m is equal to 2 i can consider m is my double proof the rest of them you can easily do that uh, don't forget to like comment and share this video with your friends now i can assume that it's a double root so let's say a is my double root of the equations what does it means f of a is my 0 f dash of a is my 0 while f double dash of a is my non-zero for more detail about the multiplicity you must watch about my this lecture of the multiple roots now let's start with this one i can substitute again epsilon n is my error in the nth equation fine so what does it means x n original root is my a plus epsilon n I can substitute this value in the given equation xn plus 1 so xn is alpha sorry uh, root is my a so it is my a plus epsilon n plus 1 which is a 
plus epsilon n minus twice a plus epsilon n divided by derivative. Fine. So a will be cancelled out. So your expression will be this number. Again, your target is to find f of a plus epsilon. Now, before I just try to find, make sure one important note for you. Given, remember, it is given as a modified Newton's method. If it is not given as a mo Newton's modified, and the last line is not given to you, the last line is not given to you, then it doesn't mean that it is this. Doesn't mean that it is my modified Newton's Raphson method. Remember, student, this formula is a modified Newton's method only when it is given that the function has a multiplicity. So as I told you, if this line is not given to you, then in this given text, it is not given that the function is multiple root. Then you can say this is a simple Newton Raphson method. However, if this is given to you, if because this is given as a multiplicity, then this implies this is my modified Newton's Raphson method. Fine. Anyhow, now your target is to find the value of the f of, so I can again apply the Taylor series. I can expand the value of a plus epsilon n. So that will be f of a plus epsilon n, f dash of a, epsilon n square over 2 factorial, f double dash of a, and so on. I can substitute the value of the f of a is 0, f dash of a is my 0. So that my expression is epsilon n square over 2 factorial f double dash of a plus so on. I can write the another term epsilon n cube over 3 factorial f triple dash of a plus so on. Fine. Similarly, I can apply the Taylor series on the values of f dash. So I can replace f to be the f dash. So it is f dash of a plus epsilon n f double dash of a plus epsilon n square over 2 factorial f triple dash of a and so again because the f dash is my 0 by the definition so this number is 0 expression becomes my I can substitute this equation number 1 and equation number 2 in this expressions so you will get this point. How you can simplify that? Again, you can see I can take epsilon n square common from the numerator, epsilon n common from the denominator. So one epsilon n will be cancelled out and your expression becomes this one. Fine. And I can neglect the higher terms. Then you can take the LCM. It will be f double dash of a plus epsilon n over 2 factorial is my 2 f double dash of a. So it will be epsilon n f double dash of a plus epsilon n square over 2 is a triple dash of a minus epsilon n f double dash of a minus epsilon n square over 3 f triple dash of a. Then clearly say these two quantities will be cancelled out and this f triple dash is a common 1 over 6 epsilon n square f triple dash of a divided by this denominator expression. Fine. Again, because epsilon n is a very, very small number, so I can er express this denominator is only as my f double dash of a. Fine. Now, because f double dash and f is a part of the constant at the point a, I call this number is my constant, say c. So therefore, your epsilon n plus 1 is approximately be c over 6 epsilon n square. Or you can say epsilon n plus 1 is proportional to the epsilon n square. So what does the meaning of this 2? That means the equation modified Newton's method has the rate of convergence so that means once you have applied the multiplicity root on the modified method, it's a quadratic. If you apply the Newton's method, it is my linear. Again, 
I recommended you, you can watch about the multiple roots and the modified Newton's method for more detail about this concept. Fine. So for based on this, I hope you can like, subscribe and comment on these channels and we will see the next lecture on the modified Newton's method for the multiple roots. Till then, you can share this video with your friends and don't forget to comment as well as subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for the watching and thanks for the support always. Happy learning students. Best of